Hi everybody, it's Slack again. It's day five of my Tokyo trip. It's September 21st, 2011. And if you've seen my previous entries, you know that a typhoon has been heading this direction. Now, the last couple days, it's just been drizzling. This morning, it was more of the same, so I didn't think it'd be that bad. But when I got to Shinjuku, which is where I went today, it was pouring. And I just, I, I had a raincoat, but it just wasn't enough. As it turns out, everyone around here uses umbrellas, unless they're working outside a lot or, or riding a bicycle. So uh, I didn't have an umbrella, and it was pouring. So I just stopped in one of the local convenience stores and picked up one of these. Now, you'll notice that unlike some umbrellas that you might have back home, this is see-through. And I think this is actually a really cool idea. Because if it's windy and the rain's going, say, sideways, which it tends to do when there's a typhoon, you have to turn your, your umbrella toward it in order to not get completely soaked. Now, if you're walking around while this is happening, and you have a normal umbrella, and you, you can't see where you're going. This really takes care of that problem in a really, really nice way. And uh, it also has the added advantage of taking away any type of fashion statement an umbrella makes. You know, it's just, it's just purely utilitarian, and uh, you don't have to worry about having like some weird color or weird pattern or anything. And that said, um, they're also really very cheap. Uh, in the lobby of my hotel here, they're selling them for 400 yen. And that's really not bad at all. But uh, at the same time, with the wind and such, they're prone to breaking. So I was looking on the news and there were probably three, four, five people whose umbrellas just broke on screen while they were being filmed. So that's the, the backdrop for today, being in Shinjuku with it just raining, raining constantly and the, the wind blowing. Now, the reason I was there is because there was a, there was a, an event for a Kikawa Yu, a signing event. And how it works is if you pre-ordered our new single that's coming out next next month you get a ticket to get one of these that is an exclusive photo for this event and her signature on it which she signed right in front of me as you can see it has the, the Y and the heart makes the, the U and on down here it says Kika yeah. So, I'm really happy about that. What I'm not, uh, and I also got to tell her that I was from America and that, you know, I've been cheering for her for a long time, even before she made her debut. Now, what I'm not really happy about, though, is the fact that it took the entire goddamn day to do this. I got there about, let's see, uh, about 11 o'clock and I didn't get to go back on the train home till about nine, <laughs> eight or nine. It's just, it was just nuts because first of all, you can't even pre-order it. You can't even reserve your coffee until it was like four o'clock. And after that, I couldn't get anything signed until what, like six o'clock. And, uh, it was just a lot of standing around, and I had to just occupy myself by just walking around Tower Records a lot. Now, if you've seen my Day 2 entry, you know that's kind of a dangerous thing, because uh, I ended up getting this. That is her movie documentary thing, DVD. Limited edition. Yep. 
went and bought that and since today these two things were released I got them as well single video for single and mono arena concert tour DVD both of those released today and both of those also now in my possession so one other thing that I was in Shinjuku for was to find one of these little paddle things with a circle on one side and X on the other and it has buttons on it that you hit to make sounds like uh, like you got it right or your buzzer to say you got it wrong now I if you've seen my other entries you'll know that I've just been looking all over for these things and just haven't been able to find them now it was thanks to Monomen in IRC chat that uh, who suggested that I take a look at Tokyo Hands, which is like a department store, and it also has like a section for party goods and games and magic and costumes and stuff. It's just that's just a really interesting section to have in a department store, and it just has all sorts of stuff that you can use for you know just holding parties or or playing games with, with your friends or even just buying random stuff to take back home for souvenirs and as it turns out I found it yeah I don't have batteries for this because it's the triple A's and I bought double A's how, how the heck am I supposed to know when they don't label them the size is the same but anyway, I got that, and I got two more for my friends back home. Yeah, that's kind of nuts. Um, let's see. Now there's there's some other stuff that I, I got for souvenirs, but that's that's not all that interesting, I guess. But uh, yeah, I finally accomplished that mission. Another thing I wanted to do while I was there was check out Tunku's Okonomiyaki restaurant, Karifua Ado, and uh, it was just really hard to find, especially in the rain. And I was just walking around in circles in the rain with soaked socks and soaked pant legs, and it was just it was just a mess. And I eventually found it. It was on the second floor of the building. It was just a hole in the wall, and uh, by the time I got there, they were closed for lunch, and they weren't going to open again until 5 o'clock. So that was kind of a bust. So, really, that, that was one of the first things I did when I got to Shinjuku, because, you know, it was like lunchtime. And uh, after that, I made my way to Tokyo Hands, got all my stuff went to Tower Records to just wait for uh, my opportunity to re to uh, reserve my copy of the, the disc of the new single. Now what kind of sucks about that is that it's released on October 5th and I'm going back home on the 1st. So I won't be able to be here to pick it up. Now, I've talked to the shopkeepers there at Tower Records and they said that they can't ship it, especially not internationally. And my best bet was probably to get some friend that I knew uh, to pick it up and send it to me or something. But I don't know anybody else in Tokyo right now. And um, yeah, that that wasn't actually that bad because it was just a thousand yen. And even without the, the CD, and it's basically just like buying this for a thousand yen. That's that's not that bad in my opinion. Now, sure, I could be getting more value out of it if I, you know, had the disc, but you know, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see here. Uh, uh, for food, this morning I had cereal again because. You know, that's easy to, to fix in the room. 
and for lunch since I didn't have uh, couldn't find curry food though in time to actually get food there I ended up eating some uh, some calorie meat now you might know that if you play some some of the Metal Gear Solid games or you've heard of uh, the ad campaign that Kiefer Sutherland did for it but uh, it's this stuff. Oh, yeah. It comes in various flavors and it's basically just like a shortbread with uh, vitamins and flavoring in it. It's quite literally like flour and margarine and other stuff in it. But you know, it gets you it gets you some energy that you need and gets you if if, if it doesn't fill you up, it at least gives you energy you need to keep going. Um, so, I guess that's pretty much it for, uh, oh, that's, I, I for, almost forgot. Uh, when I was about to go back home, it had stopped raining, but uh, it was really windy, and, you know, since it's a typhoon, they actually closed down they shut down the operation of a whole bunch of the, the trains. So I, I was in the station. I saw literally hundreds of people just sitting around, just unable to go anywhere because all the trains were stopped. Yeah, that was a mess. I was lucky to get on like the one train that started operating again. And even then, that, that took about half an hour, at least like 20 minutes longer than it should have if I'd been able to choose which which lines I'd go on. But, uh, yeah, today the weather was pretty defining as to what I, I did. It really, really defined what I did because um, it made me buy this, this uh, umbrella, made me walk around in the rain and be miserable. And later on, after I pre had, I'd reserved my copy of the single, instead of going out of the building to find something to eat, I looked outside and I said to myself, hell no, I'm not going out in that. that that's just nuts out there. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, to top it off, it kept me from getting back here on time. So, um... That weather sucks. Yeah. Anyway, tomorrow. Um, tomorrow I don't have anything on schedule yet again. I might be going over to Harajuku to check out that uh, ticket reseller that I keep hearing about and that I keep looking online at their listings. Um, you know, to get some tickets for the Dream Morning Musume concert coming up, and let me see, what else do I have? And, well, that, that's it for the next few days, but, uh, you know, there's that, uh, and I'm, oh, I'm actually very, very lucky, though, because thanks to Monument, I now have uh, the opportunity to go to the Morning Musume Handshake event. That's the day after tomorrow. And I'm just really excited for that. And, um, you know, tomorrow uh, it's probably still going to be raining. And I'm just going to just play it by ear. Well, I guess that's it for today. It's been a long entry. It's been a long day. And, uh, that's it. This has been Slack, signing off.